What is up guys, Vulcan here, and in today's video I am going to be going over the new ghost challenge. So, first of all, uh, if anyone accidentally watched my stream last night, sorry about that. Uh, I accidentally started streaming for like one minute because I was trying to test whether my laptop could handle streaming or not. Turns out it can't handle streaming, so I had to stop the stream. Uh, I meant to make it private. But yeah, unfortunately, like 200 people saw me doing that, and and a couple people kind of got mad because um, they had their notifications on. They thought I was like sharing a video, so my bad for that one. Um, but I did continue testing, and I think I figured out that I can stream on my. Well, it's technically my dad's computer, but he never uses it because he uses his laptop for his work. So I think I'm gonna buy it off of him and then use that to stream. I might even stream today if I can get it working and um, if nothing comes up tonight. So yeah, hopefully you guys can look forward to that. I'm looking forward to it. And I also have a video coming out in two days that I recorded like three days ago. So it's technically, even though I recorded that video first, it's gonna come out after this video. So try not to get too confused by that. And let's get into this challenge. So currently I am, Make sure I'm recording. Yep. Currently, I am 8 and 0 in the challenge, and gotta get this magical chest. Rocket, Valkyrie, Barbarian. Nice. Okay, nothing too special there, but uh, the legendary chest and the ghost will be a pretty nice reward. So, we are up against Richard. Um, and this challenge is important just frequently, or not frequently, but. Uh, I guess pretty frequently I'll go down a tower early and but you just have to kind of outplay your opponent when once you kind of figure out like how the gist of the game is going um, because you're going to be using decks that you haven't really practiced with so it can be a little bit confusing because you know it's not always easy to tell what the best move is in the scenario but just kind of figure out what your opponent's doing and then you can outplay them once um, double elixir starts usually so just kind of starting off, usually at the start of the game, you don't, you never really want to drop a expensive troop behind your tower. I would honestly say never drop anything more than four elixir behind your tower. If it's three elixir, is a good starting play, but if it's four elixir, don't drop it. Really, what you want to do is just um, just cycle your cheap cards. You know, honestly, you he wastes his rocket, so I'm gonna go with Sparky. And if he plays a Sparky, then I'll play Rocket. He doesn't have Electro Wizard or Zap or anything because I don't have Electro Wizard or Zap, and we have the same decks. So realistically, this should be a pretty hard uh, push for him to stop. Uh, I don't really have a tank in this deck, so I think I'm just gonna... Ooh, interesting, he mirrors the draw. I'm glad I didn't play that. I was kind of waiting to see what he did. Um, I almost got caught off guard there and almost wasted a bunch of elixir, but we don't. I'm just gonna support my cannon card. Um, not go too aggressive. Just kind of let that push play out and wait for his move. Just kind of waiting to see what he does. I really don't want to overcommit because, especially since we have the same decks, it's not like one of us is countering the other person. You really have to be careful and make sure you don't overcommit. If you have like a big, uh, if you have like a giant or a golem, then that's where you can set up a push behind your king tower and spend a lot of elixir, but since we don't have a big tank in this deck, I really don't want to spend that much elixir on a push. Uh, that was a pretty terrible play by me. I played my... Oh, <laughs> Sparky behind the King Tower. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest with you. But it's all good. He just spent a lot of elixir. Um, I'm going to go in with a double Royal Ghost push because now he's down on elixir. And a double elixir so I can afford to overextend, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going to overcommit on that push, though. His tower's within rocket range. Um, I'm just going to stay back. Well, I can, I can mirror rocket his tower right now. So I'm just going to try to defend. I'll play my cannon cart there. Hopefully it kills the princess this time. It doesn't. But honestly, I'm just going to go double Royal Ghost. The Royal Ghost is a really good card, and frequently mirroring the Royal Ghost is a really good move just because it's so hard to stop, honestly. Nice. Uh-oh. That's really not good. I really need to get down that princess hood. I can rocket. Right now, it's just going to be a rocket race, I think. But if he starts rocketing me... Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. 
That's unfortunate. <laughs> GG to him. A bit of a misplay by me. I thought I blocked that princess, but I guess I didn't, which is really unfortunate. Ended up losing me the game just because I didn't block that princess. It's all good. We can still get the 12 win. Um, you can play that. It's, it's a little bit harder to concentrate when I'm commenting too. I probably made a couple mistakes here, but I think I played pretty well. It's really just I thought I blocked the princess and I didn't. Uh, I, I played like my troop one tile too low, so it's all good. Okay, so this deck, I probably don't want to make the starting play just because it's so expensive. So I'm just going to sit back and wait, see what he does. See if I can get a counter push. If I do make a starting play here, it's definitely going to be the mortar at the bridge. But I'm just going to wait because... Interesting. I'll play a defensive mortar. Okay, I think I can just... I'm just going to counter that with an Electro Wizard. Oh, oh I got a tiny bit of lag there, but it ended up playing just fine. Okay, so here, it's just going to be a question of can I get an elixir advantage by him wasting his cards because both of us have super expensive decks. Play a bowler there. I technically could have gotten minion horde, but I prefer to have a tank in front of my minion horde. Interesting. That yeah, my bowler isn't gonna, even going to cross the bridge, so I'll get a ton of damage on his bowler. <laughs> If this was a mini tank, I'd probably go uh, Royal Ghost Mini Horde right now, but the Royal Ghost is not going to tank for the Mini Horde, so it wouldn't really make too much sense. I'll play another Royal Ghost there. And honestly, I think I'm going to play a Mortar at the bridge. Yep, I have two troops in front of it, so just going to back up that Mortar. Uh oh. Whoops! <laughs> Well, both of us are going to get a lot of damage on the tower. I definitely got the better of that exchange, though. Um, I'm not going to keep attacking because he's low on Elixir. Yeah, he definitely doesn't have Elixir right now. You can just tell because he wasn't placing any cards. And then the second he placed his card, it got instantly evaporated. So I knew I could go in with a push there. Okay, he doesn't have a big spell. So I'm just going to try to defend this tower. Oh. It's my e Electro Wizard is not going to be able to take down that uh, mortar all by herself, or yeah, all by himself. So I'm going to have to play another troop there. Okay, I probably could have played Mini Horde there, but the poison will work out just fine. Also, I don't think that will get him my tower. Honestly, I think I'm just going to play defensive because um, he can't poison cycle my tower at this point. He can try, but there's no way he's going to be able to cycle on that poison. I guess if he, if he mirrors poison here, then I'm going to go in with like double minion horde, to be honest with you. Okay, I'm going to play minion horde in the back because you know, he just spent his poison so he can't poison it. And I think I'm going to play another minion horde. And <laughs> yeah, that should be game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got, we got that victory. Um, it's really just all about playing it slow. I would recommend never starting a troop more than three elixir. I mean, there's situations where you can, but it's a pretty safe rule of thumb to not. And so, a lot of times if you have bats, you also don't want to spend your bats because they're so good on defense if your opponent doesn't have zap that uh, they can get a ton of value and you probably don't want to waste them. I sound like goblins, um, they're not they're not that valuable in defense, especially with the nerf, so feel free to you know waste those. I'll start my bomber in the back. If he goes, uh, goal in the same lane, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm just gonna go goal, to be honest with you. Because, oh, we do a, see, I should have paid attention to the fact that we had Spear Goblin Hunt in our decks, but I didn't really, because I was talking, and I didn't really look at his deck, and look at my deck, but I probably want to start the goal with that deep, well, I, I, don't, I don't think it was a bad play, I don't. I'm just going to try to DPS this down. We don't have a big spell, so I can just play as many troops as I want right on top of the golem. I'm going to play a bullet here to make sure to block me the bridge. I don't think there's any air troops, so I don't have to worry about uh, holding my wizard. I'm going to play that bomber there just to DPS down that golem. Yeah, Spear Golem Hut is really not the best defense for uh, golem, so really... Playing my golem like that was not a bad play because 
Um, he didn't really have anything he could rush opposite lane with. If he did, then I could just kind of ignore his push and go all in on that lane because he doesn't have like a really solid, and well, neither of us have a really solid defense to Golem, so we want to play Golem as much as possible in this scenario. If we had an Inferno Tower or something, that probably would have been a bad play on my part. I don't think I'm going to play, yeah, I'm not going to play Goblin Hut because it's, in this matchup, it's really not going to get that much value. Goblin Hut's really good to like stop Hog Raiders and stuff, but it's really not that good against Golem. I'm just going to play a lot of Roller Ghost. In this scenario, Roller Ghost is, honestly, Roller Ghost is always really good. I don't know, I can't think of a scenario where Roller Ghost is bad. I'm just going to keep spamming troops because he really doesn't have anything to uh, kill them. So, and like in this matchup, it's all about getting your golem down as soon as possible. Okay, I'm going to start a golem on this side. He might try to take my tower. If he does, I might have to tower trade. I'm just going to ignore his golem and, um, yeah, go from there. I got, I'm just going to wait for all his troops to lock up my tower and then I'm going to kill him. So my golem push should get the tower over there, and this should be GG. Gotta be a little bit careful, it's getting a little bit risky, but I think I got this. Yeah, I got this. Okay, good game, well played, it's just, yeah, as I said, I think, I've, I, think I explained that match very well, so we are currently, what, 10 and 1? Nice, and we get a legendary. Let's see what we get. If we got Royal Ghost in this chest, I don't think that's possible. That would be sick. Ooh, Princess. Not bad. Level 4 Princess would be really good. Okay. We're up against Eric. Ooh, we got Graveyard and Zap. Okay. First time I actually bothered looking at the deck. Um, I think I'm going to play Princess in the back here. Yeah, because 3 Elixir. I'll play opposite lane his. Princess is going to get a lot of value in this matchup. I think I'm just going to mirror my princess. Hopefully I get that in time. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, this this matchup is just going to be all about keeping the princesses alive. Because neither of us have a good troop that can kill princesses. going to play my fire spears at the bridge. As I said, you really don't want to start a fire elixir card behind your tower. It's just not that good. The way to win this game is going to be Royal Ghost and Princess because there's no tank for the graveyard, so it's kind of like a waste to play. Yay. I'm just, I'm just going to keep cycling princesses. Oh, I'm going to play this little trick here to kill to snipe off this uh, princess. Nice. Okay, this is looking really good. Ooh, nice. I think I'm gonna play my fire spirit here so that he doesn't um kill my wizard. Wow, he still kills my okay, I probably shouldn't even play those fire spheres. Yeah, Royal Ghost is if you don't have like a mini tank, it's really hard to stop. I don't think it'll be as good like um when she gets a ladder and people have like real decks, but in this challenge it's really hard. Okay, I'm gonna play well, honestly I'll just play Princess same length. He doesn't have a big spell, so he he can get damage on a tower and I'm cool with it. Got my zap ready because I need it. Yeah, he, he was thinking the same thing. Just gonna play a Royal Ghost in the back. If I can get a nice graveyard push up, then that'd be really good. I think now might be the time to go with the graveyard, to be honest. Play that zap there, so I was hoping. Um, if you play Zap, it's one less shot for the, what do you call it, for the ghost to kill the, um, wizard, so I was hoping that I could get down those, uh, what do you call it, I was hoping I could get down those wizards so that they couldn't counter push me really hard. I think I'm just gonna play a naked creature on the tower because I think it can finish off the game, and that's really all, all my goal right now. Um, now I just have to defend. Honestly, I'm just going to play Graver in the middle, because it'll actually defend Royal Ghost really well, I think. It'll pull them, attract them. Nice, right, so GG, well played. 
via that matchup was definitely keeping the princesses alive and using Royal Ghost to get some damage. Okay, so final match. Hopefully we can win. Uh, one loss. Probably I probably could have. Yeah, if I rewatch my replay, I probably made some mistakes in that match. But it's just like you can't you can't play everything perfect in a challenge like this. Okay, I'll start Princess in the back again. I didn't really pay attention to what we had again, so that's unfortunate. But I, I'm just gonna guess that there's not a big spell. Um. Nice. So I think I'll just play my Royal Ghost in the back. It's not really that much value to be uh, gotten from. I'm gonna play my Freezer just so he doesn't get too much damage on my tower and because it can get a lot of value in this situation. Now I'm gonna play my Hog Rider for the counter push. And yes, I don't log or anything, so I'm gonna go with, in with Fire Spears to try to um, EPS down something quick. Nice. Okay, sweet, that pulled. I'm just gonna ignore his Ice Wizard here because it's not gonna do that much damage to my tower. Ooh, interesting play. I guess I'll play. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go double roll of Ghost here. He definitely just overcommitted on that freeze so hard. He has like he probably has like three elixir right now. And three elixir is not enough to stop roll of Ghost. Nice or double is <laughs> enough to stop one, not enough to stop double though. Okay, so we're probably pretty even on elixir, and he has one troop on the field. Ooh, interesting. If I get lucky, nope, didn't get lucky, but it's all good. Okay, I'm gonna make sure to finish out this tower because it's not a big spell, and just to support my witch and make it so he has to defend it. Nice. Okay, so we should be pretty close to even. He probably has a tiny bit more elixir, but it's all good. I'll put a princess in the back. I'm gonna double princess here and use freeze for defense. Smart move, man. But it won't work. Yeah, all I need to do now is play defense. Oh, the witch. I think he might get the tower, but he also might not. We'll see. Okay, nice. Nice defense. Um, I think I got this game in the bag. Just gonna keep up the princesses. Play a couple more in the back. Just have to defend for now. I'm gonna defensive freeze. Got the tower early game because I recognized that he overcommitted. And yeah. See, he should wait for um He should wait for me to free before he sends the second hog rider, but the game was over by that point anyway, so good game. And let's check out this chest. If if I get lucky, I'll get another legendary in the chest. That'll be so sweet. Okay. So Get that Royal Ghost. Uh, I think the Royal Ghost is a great card. Like, it's. I think honestly, whoever has Royal Ghost is going to win this uh, next ladder, or at least there's there's going to be some Royal Ghost in the top ten on ladder. I don't know exactly what deck is going to be in yet, but it'll definitely be in a deck. Um, Royal Giant, Flying Machine. These, this chest isn't as good as the Grand Challenge chest. Oh, I got Hunter unlocked. What do you know? See, this shows how much I've been playing on this account since the update. I, okay. Oh, th this is so perfect. I, know, I got three legendaries for one challenge. I think I don't think I can get luckier. Let's see what I got. It is oh a bandit. Nice. It's still level one. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Falcon out.